VDL went not put out unreasonable demands on Northern Ireland trade received hellish criticism. European Union demands on Northern Ireland trade have been slammed as nutty by a former Irish ambassador. Former Irish diplomat Ray Bassett has mocked the European Union over the nutty manner in which the Northern Ireland Protocol was implemented. Trading arrangements for Northern Ireland have become a sticking point in talks between Brussels and London after Brexit. While Brussels claimed to be protecting the integrity of the EU single market from goods entering the Republic of Ireland, Mr Bassett said that the protocol had been interpreted in a very pedantic way. Mr Bassett said, Now, quite clearly the European Union implemented the protocol in a way which I don't think even the Irish government expected. It was very pedantic, they went for a maximalist position. Some of the regulations are just nutty. You know, Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's has stores in Northern Ireland, they don't have them in the South. The lorries coming into supply in Northern Ireland's supermarkets were being checked on every item even though there was no possibility that this was going south. The former Irish diplomats added, we have a protocol, it would be very difficult to abolish it totally and it would probably go in the face of the majority opinion in Northern Ireland which now probably supports a watered-down version of the protocol which didn't interfere too much with the trade and commerce. But the real issue of the protocol now is the political issue. He continued, and the fact that the unionist community is alienated, and it's alienated in a different way than ever been before. Because they don't have a majority instalment, they don't have majority of MPs. So there's a feeling inside the unionist community of, I wouldn't say desperation, but they are very, very agitated politically, and you know, that has to be dealt with. You can't just wish that away in the community, which is alienated, you have to move in some direction towards meeting any legitimate grievances. The former Irish diplomat also let we know that the Irish government is very worried about the UK's threats to triggering Article 16 in talks over the protocol breakdown. Mr Bassett said, on the overall picture Ireland is very worried and I saw the tea shock last night was very worried that the UK was going to invoke Article 16. Which would place us in a very, very bad position. There's also a feeling quietly in Dublin that you know, we brought some of this ourselves. On another ECAP news, there was slow progress on the Northern Ireland Protocol talks last week as Brexit Minister Lord Frost reported the progress had been limited with the gap between the UK and EU significant. Frost said there was some convergence on the issue of medicines, where the EU has offered concessions to safeguard the movement of drugs from GB to NE, adding that the details were still being considered. Tweeting his roundup of the eighth week of talks between his team and that of his EU counterpart Maros Svkovic, Frost called for more progress on customs and SPS to deal with the fundamental issue of improving the flow of goods between Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Unilateral response The EU has said it could act unilaterally to ensure medicines continue to flow into NE, which some drugs companies have said they will no longer supply due to costly dual licensing requirements that are an outcome of the protocol. However, DUP leader Sir Geoffrey Donaldson said that medicines were only one issue to be resolved and that the protocol should be scrapped if the two sides could not reach an accord, reports The Independent. If agreement cannot be reached in the negotiations, then the government must do what the government has pledged to do. That is to take the action that is necessary to fully restore Northern Ireland's place within the UK internal market, and to remove the Irish Sea Customs border on goods moving from Great Britain to Northern Ireland, he said. Public and MPs at odds. As a result of the protocol, NE remains in the EU's single market for goods while also staying part of UK customs territory. This dual status allows goods to flow to and from NE to the Republic of Ireland and the rest of the EU as they did while the UK was a member of the EU- that is, without customs checks or tariffs. New research shows that a majority of people in NE think that the protocol is good for the province, reports the New Statesman. The study, by UK in a changing Europe, found that more than half, 53%, think the protocol is appropriate, and 52% think it on balance good for knee, and 41% disagreeing, with 7% undecided. MPs in Northern Ireland have a more negative attitude, 
with 59% of Labour MPs and 53% of Conservatives thinking that it was not good for me. And of conserv